بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, brothers and sisters inshallah um, as you can see from the title today inshallah I would like to talk about few things that can help you avoid the fitna in Facebook we all know that most people these days they have Facebook so I will inshallah point out few things that you know you can do to avoid those fitna um, here are the list inshallah so <coughs> you can go and follow me okay the first one is inshallah don't publish your pictures and this is more for the sisters because I'm not saying just because I'm brother but I'm saying this because you know you know I I, I care for my sisters in Islam because you know these days you know pictures they can get copied and they can be changed and you know there are some guys out there who wanna harm everybody every Muslim so and also for the brothers you know if you if you want for your for your good if you want a good uh, life then inshallah don't publish your pictures because not Islamically but you know people can change it these days the digital world is changing so be careful about uh, publishing uh, uh, your pictures unless unless it's private for your friends and people you know okay um, the second one is don't put anything in your status in your status update that is personal for example like you'll see people publishing you know I created this account a few minutes ago <laughs> and uh, mashallah I have two, two other friends already anyway <coughs> by the way I don't I don't live in Spain and yeah so okay so people put th things like you know I am eating things like that or I'm going to the mall or you know things don't don't benefit other people and that is your personal life and you don't need to tell anybody especially if you are for da'wah if you are a person who you know here only for da'wah or just talk to families or friends but mostly goes here for da'wah and just be careful of that because you know nobody really wants to know and I have heard a lot of people saying that don't, nobody want to know about your personal life and it's true you know if you are not somebody that you know for example like the tabi'een or somebody who is a sheikh who his life is a lesson then you don't need to publish your what do you do in your life okay so inshallah I'm not trying to be rude but inshallah keep it keep it to yourself and and be careful of you know telling everybody your life because that could affect you or maybe it could harm you so just be careful for your life okay the number eight is go offline in your chat room in your chat uh, on Facebook unless it's important for you okay so here down there you could see that we have uh, chat offline so if you wanna change the chat offline you just click it and it will change it I don't have anybody online right now uh, that's sad <laughs> but anyway it's true really uh, if you don't wanna chat just go offline because there's people who just wanna chat and they don't want, they don't have anything to do in their life mostly and they just want to say things um, and waste your time and also if it's the opposite gender it could create uh, something that is not necessary an unnecessary talk alright number seven refrain from adding someone if you don't know him or her especially if they are from opposite gender and this is 100% true I have seen a lot of, pe a lot of people just adding for the sake of ad or for the sake of making a lot of friends or just you know if they see an image they will just click it and add that person to just see that that image and I have seen a lot of things like that be careful and uh, and this goes back to the one I said uh, you know don't publish your image your pictures because some guys they just look for the picture if they see a pretty girl and then they will just click it and add it because they just want to talk and create a fitna and that could harm you and Isla your Islamic life so be careful of that um, number six uh, post anything you find useful to remind others about Allah, Akhirah, Hellfire, Paradise and anything interesting that can benefit others and that's true because if you publish something that is beneficial for example you publish a verse from the Quran somebody read it and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed his heart from a state of you know disobedience to a state that you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with and you will get a lot of ajr from that 
and you can imagine that so if you publish things like for example you publish a video from YouTube a lecture from YouTube and somebody watched it and it changed his whole life so if you keep publishing things that you know uh, things that you know uh, benefit people and things that help people in, in their Islamic life then inshallah you will get edge from it and if somebody reads it you, you will get edge from it even if he, if he thinks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a minute then that is something that is to be proud of and inshallah let's keep doing that I have seen a lot of people doing that so keep it up um, number five is this might be uh, counted as a lie but you can put engaged or married in your relationship status this is the ultimate way for sisters to keep out those men who seek only to create finna this is true if you put like for example married in your uh, relationship status if you go to info you click edit here this so here is the relationship status if you go here to uh, relationships you'll see you can choose uh, which one you want the single in relationship engaged married it's complicated and it's open relationship and widowed that's that widow okay so you could put uh, any 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 one of this but you know if you put like single you know S sisters usually s some guys they just like you know to talk so if they see like engaged they will just get disappointed and move on <laughs> so this is you know this is another option I'm not saying that it's encouraged but it's another option if you wanna go for it so that's one option alright uh, number four if you find a friend is, uh, is posting things that is against Islamic guideline, guidelines, block their updates so you don't have to see it again. Okay, th what I'm talking about is, for example, here is the updates. That's my my other account. Okay, here is some updates. So if you don't want to see this person's updates, and for example, like it's very annoying, or he he or she posts things like that's haram in Islam, like you know songs from YouTube or things that uh, you know swearing words and stuff like that and you don't want to see this because you don't like it I mean it, it damages you in your in your faith so what you do is you just click that little X and and it will say hide whatever that person's name is and you just say hide and it will hide it that doesn't mean that person will not be your friend but he will uh, his status updates will be just hidden okay so that's another option number three is join groups that post the things beneficial such as verses from the Quran, Hadith, Islamic reminders and so on this is really helpful because I have seen like I don't obviously have any Islamic uh, groups but when I uh, in my other account you know I have like a lot of groups in my list and I have joined a lot of groups Islamic groups so every day when I when I check my uh, Facebook and I see a lot of reminders like you know uh, Ramadan reminders I've seen like you know all kind of reminders you can think of so that's another option keep it up and think about it and inshallah join any kind of uh, group that is Islamic okay number two uh, create awareness on anything you find needs uh, the help of the Muslims such as creating a cause or tagging an image that is carrying a message okay so you have seen somebody you know a website that is helping people for example Islamic Relief uh, they help people and you wanna you know encourage everybody to at the least you know see it or donate anything they can for example in my other account I created this uh, this image I didn't create it actually I get it from the Islamic Relief website <coughs> I put it up here and I tagged a lot of people in it the last one and number one is the only way you can avoid completely the fitna of Facebook is not is to not create any account at all okay I know I know Facebook everybody has a Facebook everybody asks you for Facebook but the thing is you have to know this if you don't have a Facebook right now don't make it I am telling you this do not make a, a Facebook account because this is you know Facebook is like the ultimate test for the Mus for the youth Muslims and and it has a lot of finna but it has a lot of benefit too um, you know to create to make a lot of da'wah so be careful so jazakallahu khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa